Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me doing day four of the Legal Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's farm. And here, as you can see in front of this sign, I'm in Taolin. I didn't, that would be funny if I photoshopped this in or something, but uh, yeah. There's actually not that much nearby, so uh, I'm just going to show you this sign. And I think this is just because it's right next to the ferry, so uh, a lot of tourists, like this guy, will come and take a photo or whatever. Anyway, all right, all right, let's let's solve the problem. Let's go. <laughs> let's see. Cheese and pepperoni. Uh, yeah, everybody, I'm here in Tallinn in Estonia. Uh, it's a, it's an okay intro. I should probably did the castle or something, but. Uh, uh yeah this is day four of the legal day challenge hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord let me know what you think about today's farm and today we have a yeezy seems like labeled so uh yeah hopefully we'll finish this early and quick it's eleven twenty eight. number of the equivalent domino pairs given the list of dominoes uh oh yeah someone might give, uh, i just want to add that i actually I might have put this in uh someone added um someone gave me a recommendation about pop comfort uh, compressor a pancake place here in uh, Tallinn uh, it was very good uh, I, I I wish I had more stomach to eat more or something but anyway I've, I've, I probably already put in the clip so yeah anyway let's take a look at today's farm yeah dominoes something okay okay so they have to be exactly the same or rotated to be the same return number pairs that are equivalent Two dominoes up J. Okay. I mean, I think th this is actually a very good exercise in uh, understanding what normalization means, right? Meaning that hashing uh, uh, a domino in a way such that um, you could recall from it, uh, like look up uh, uh, either a set or hash table very easily, right? And here you try to figure out, okay, well, what is a way such that two dominoes can, or, well, one domino, but one rotated, um, can be represented the same way, right? And there, there's no one right answer. Um, it's just about being consistent about it, right? Uh, and of course, the property you want is that um, if two dominoes are the same, including rotated, you want them to kind of show up the same way. But the other thing is no false positive, right? Meaning that, um, you know, like for example, one hashing algorithm review, quote unquote, would um, would be that like you just add a plus b, but of course, that means that uh, three and four is the same as two and five, right? So that's no good. But it, but yeah, so those are the ideas. The way that I would do it is just sorting it, and then after sorting, it, you convert it to a number if you like, but it's the same. So the um, the way that I might have it is uh, yeah, for x y in dominoes. If x is greater than y, then x then we swap them, right? And then otherwise we uh, uh yeah. I mean th then now this is all normalized. I'm trying to figure out what it's actually asking. Number of pairs. Okay, yeah, just number of pairs, right? So that means that for this one, then uh, we have to do a lookup, right? So we have total is just the answer. And then maybe we have a lookup is equal to uh, collections.counter, right? And then now you can use the tuple as a thing, as a lookup key. So here, oh, the number of pairs, how many pairs does... Um, so let's say we just received this domino. How many pairs does it make of the previous one? Well, it's just you go to this, right? The number of previous dominoes that we have so that's the number of things and then now we add the number of things we've seen and we should be good and i know you can use the um what's it called uh uh uh, uh, uh like the n square plus n over two type thing but uh, i feel like this way is easier to kind of uh, make progression and also if you make a mistake or make modification this is easier to kind of do that um, like we need to add an if statement, for example, but, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. This is linear time, linear space. This is the linear space. This is the linear time, right? And that's it. Yeah. Good call tonight. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to get mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.